up you guys welcome back to another one if you are new to the channel i am gold pony i do new car truck suv reviews on youtube and today i'm quite excited we are in the brand new 2021 jeep grand cherokee L, courtesy of Stetler Dodge Jeep Ram in York, PA. For more information on their inventory, please feel free to check out the link in the description box below. And so this essentially is the Jeep Grand Cherokee, but with a third row. And so this one's gonna be competing with other SUVs like the Hyundai Palisade, like the Kia Telluride, like the Toyota Highlander, just to name a few. This is all new by the way, for the 2021 model year. The Jeep Grand Cherokee has yet to have a third row until this particular year, so I'm quite excited for that. But not only that, we have an air suspension on the Grand Cherokee L that we have here today, and I'll go over the suspension in a little bit here, but that is quite exciting for me. And so in this video, I will be testing out and going over everything about this one from acceleration to braking, the steering feel, ride quality, sound system, exhaust clip, all of that fun stuff. So having said all of that, what do you guys say? Let's just go ahead and jump right into it and as always, let's start with pricing. And so as you can imagine, there are several different trim levels for the 2021 Jeep Grand Cherokee L, starting with the Laredo, starting at $36,995, Altitude for $40,195, Limited for $45,995, Overland, which is the one we have today, starting at $52,995, Summit for $56,995, and lastly, the Summit Reserve starting at $61,995. And by the way, that was all pricing for the rear wheel drive configuration if you wanted to add all-wheel drive to any of those trim levels simply add two thousand dollars to any of those prices but when it comes to the power plant of the new grand cherokee l there are two options available to you first one is going to be a 3.6 liter naturally aspirated v6 this is the one that comes standard this one puts out 290 horsepower at 6400 rpm 257 pound feet of torque coming in at 4000 rpm again power center rear wheels or all wheels through an eight speed automatic we do have paddle shifters here too, by the way, so we will be testing those out in a little bit here, but all in all, MPG numbers come in at 19 in the city, 26 on the highway for the rear wheel drive, 18 city, 25 then on the highway for the all wheel drive variant taking regular unleaded fuel. But so then there is the other engine configuration, this one being a 5.7 liter Hemi V8. By the way, this one is a $3,295 option if you wanted to go that route, but this one puts out 360 horsepower, 390 pound feet of torque sent to all four wheels through an eight speed automatic yet again zero to 60 time for that one approximately 6.5 seconds with mpg numbers coming in at 14 in the city 22 then on the highway but so now having got all of that out of the way, before we do any kind of fun paddle shifter or acceleration test in this one, I do want to mention there are plenty of drive modes for the Grand Cherokee L and that toggle switch is located just to the left of the circular shift dial. And by the way, this isn't a traditional shifter. It is simply a circular shift dial. Turn it to the right, you're going to put it in drive. Turn it slightly to the right, you put it in reverse, neutral, and then there's park as well in case anybody's curious about that. But back to the drive modes, it will include auto, sport, rock, snow, and mud and sand adjusting things like the shift points, the throttle response, steering sensitivity, all-wheel drive system, engagement, traction control, and actually the braking as well. So that is quite a bit if you're asking me. But anyways, having now got all of that out of the way, what do you guys say? Let's find a straightaway. I first want to put the paddle shifters here to the test and let's see how quickly they are going to react for us here. All right, here's our straightaway for the paddle shifter test in three, two, one, go. delay ever so slight delay really the paddle shifters weren't that bad considering we're in a three row suv and really you're probably not going to be using the paddle shifters for an acceleration anyways what more than likely you're going to be using them for is maybe some engine braking when you're going downhill in the snow here in pennsylvania so you're less likely to actually you know hit the brakes and slide off the road so they're there for that so that's always a good thing but actually they're not that bad, just a slight delay. But anyways, now I've got that out of the way, what do you guys say? Let's go ahead and find a straightaway yet again, and let's give back full control to the Grand Cherokee L here, and let's see how quickly this thing is going to get us here up to speed. All right, you guys, here is our straightaway in three, two, one, off we go. Kind of uphill. <laughs> but perfectly fine. Definitely not gonna have any issues emerging onto the highway. By the way, we don't have the Hemi V8. We do have the V6 here, but that was in sport mode and that was plenty of an acceleration for the Grand Cherokee L without a doubt. Not gonna have any issues emerging onto the highway with that one, but 
to go along with that acceleration, as always, braking is equally important. And so, of course, you will find four-wheel disc brakes coming standard across the board on the Grand Cherokee L. As far as that braking feel goes, it's definitely on the firmer side, which I really, really like. Usually with three-row SUVs, it's kind of soft or spongy or softer braking feel overall, but not with the Grand Cherokee L. It's definitely on the firmer side. I love this. It feels like it instantly brings you to a stop. So well done Jeep for the braking feel. I got to give you credit for that. Then touching on suspension and handling up front, you're going to get a short and long arm front suspension in the back, independent multi-link rear suspension, front and rear stabilizer bars. As far as that ride quality goes, it is brilliant. It is perfectly fine. I have had no issues with the ride quality in my short test drive here today in the Grand Cherokee L. So that is definitely on point. And part of that is due because we do have the quadra lift air suspension and so you can actually adjust that manually it's also going to adjust dependent upon which drive mode that you put it in but for the manual adjustment on the right hand side of the shift dial there's actually a little toggle switch here you can hit that up if you wanted to raise the height or push it down to lower the height so that is pretty cool so maybe at highway speed you want to lower it and then if you're going off-roading obviously you can raise up that air suspension for quite a bit of additional ground clearance if you wanted to so we'll get to that of course in a little bit here but overall as far as steering feel goes again i think jeep did a very good job with that it's not too heavy it's not too light i would say it's perfectly fine it's right on point i would maybe tends to lean a bit on the heavier side which i personally enjoy better helps point you in the direction that you want to go so i think the steering feels 100 on point in the grand cherokee l without a doubt as far as cabin noise goes again it's perfectly fine. I've been over 50 miles per hour here. Sometimes with other SUVs, you get a bit of wind noise coming into the cabin once you get higher up in speed, but not with this one. Well done, very well insulated. There is acoustic laminate and not only front windshield, but front side glass and rear side glass as well you don't get the rear side glass unless you're going mercedes-benz typically ultra luxury vehicles get that but you do have it here in the grand cherokee l so for that reason alone it is ultra serene on the interior here of the grand cherokee l i just have the climate control on right now so you guys might hear a little bit of that but very quiet cabin i'm very impressed with that as well and then touching on visibility i can see perfectly fine out the back one of the key attributes to that is that those third row headrests kind of fold down so if you don't have third row passengers you have better visibility because of that so i love that i can see perfectly fine out the back and rain sensing windshield wipers actually do come standard across the board as well but that about rounds out the performance segment of this review you guys let's now go ahead and take a look at the exterior of our brand new 2021 jeep grand cherokee l all right so here she is you guys the new 2021 jeep grand cherokee l finished in black very menacing look to this one very good looking front end but speaking of let's go ahead and start up front here led reflector headlights with the auto leveling feature coming standard for all trim levels of course automatic feature with that coming standard as well meaning when it starts to get dark out at night those headlights will turn on automatically for you there led daytime running lights also coming standard along with with that, if you were to go with the Overland trim level and up, you will get LED projector headlights providing a little better illumination there. Also with that same trim level, front corner LED lamps as well and LED fog lights then coming with the limited trim level and up. Then take a look at the front grille. You're actually going to get unique front grille styles depending upon which trim level that you go with. And they're not gonna differ too much just with the design to them really. So did wanna mention that though nonetheless. And just above that front grille, of course, you do have the Jeep lettering found on the front portion of that hood there but again like i said overall very menacing look and i love i almost forgot to mention the front tow hooks finished in chrome as well very cool look that kind of pays homage of course to jeep's off-road nature so very cool look but anyway so let's now go ahead and make our way to the side of the grand cherokee l here roof rails coming standard across the board rear privacy glass also coming standard taking a look at the side mirrors they are gloss black heated side mirrors that do come standard with integrated turn signals but then if you were to go with the overland trim level and up you're also going to get that reverse tilt down feature meaning when you put it in a reverse mirrors will tilt down so you can better see what is beside you kind of to the back there Auto dimming side mirrors also with that overland trim level and up them. But then taking a look at the wheel configurations, 18 by 8 inch aluminum alloys coming with the Laredo and Limited, 20 by 8.5 inch gloss black aluminum alloys coming with the Altitude, Overland, and Summit. And then for the Summit Reserve, you're going to get 21 by 9 inch polished aluminum alloy wheels. And 
Don't want to forget to mention the coolest part on this side, in my personal opinion. Of course, you have that Jeep Grand Cherokee lettering on the front doors, but just behind that, you will find an American flag logo. So I thought that was the best part personally. So anyways, that about rounds off the side of this one. Let's now go ahead and make our way to the back. It's open now since we are around back, body colored shark fin antenna all the way to the top. Just below that rear spoiler with an integrated brake light, just below that rear window wiper. LED tail lights do come standard along every single trim level across the board. And I actually like this new slim tail light design as well. Very good looking. In my my personal opinion at least but when it comes to that rear bumper it's actually going to differ slightly depending upon which trim level that you go with so it is going to kind of have a unique look depending on the trim level like i said just below it all dual exhaust outlets with chrome tips integrated into the rear bumper you guys know i love that look ever since i first saw it on bmws i think bmw x5 i first saw it on but either way i do believe you guys know what we have to do next as always here is that exhaust clip It's open now since we are around back of the Grand Cherokee L. When it comes to opening that rear tailgate, it is a power tailgate for all trim levels across the board. Then if you were to go with the Overland trim level and up, you will find a hands-free power tailgate in case your hands are full of groceries or whatever. Once opened up, cargo capacity comes in at 17.2 cubic feet behind that third row. If that was not enough space, I do want to mention there is a power folding third row as I am showing you guys right now for the Overland trim leveling up. So it was very easy to fold that third row down, but then manually folding second row, of course, but still definitely like that configuration. But with all rows folded down, that is going to come in at 84.6 cubic feet, which is definitely a good bit. Tie down anchors you can find back there. There's grocery bag hooks, cargo lighting, 12 volt power outlet, and there actually is some in-floor storage and a very decent amount as well you don't always get this much in floor storage i was very impressed actually when it came to that but spare tire beneath it all and plenty of space with all rows folded to get in a quick workout so do a little push-ups back there you know you got to get it in when you can but anyways now making our way up to the third row legroom that is going to come in at 30.3 inches which of course on paper is not a whole lot at all but for reference i mean even six feet tall this is how much space i have back there did want to mention though rear ventilation does come standard for every single trim level across the board and it's actually found on the side of the vehicle as opposed to the roof or the ceiling where a lot of other manufacturers put their air vents so i did want to specify that rear cup holders of course coming standard back there and it was super easy to get into that third row these are some of the best folding second row seats i've seen in quite a while they folded a decent amount towards those front seats there so i was definitely no issues whatsoever with getting to the third row is what i'm trying to see here so i definitely like that but anyways now making our way to the second row legroom that is going to come in at 39.4 inches so for reference again i mean even six feet tall this is how much space i have back there 12 volt power outlet can be found back there there are dual usb charging ports two more phone charging ports to go along with that and there is actually a 115 volt power outlet if you were to go with the limited trim level and up, I thought that was pretty darn cool. So you could power up your hair straighteners or if you're a guy or drill or whatever you want to do. So I thought that was pretty cool. And there's a little slot for some cargo, maybe a cell phone just below all of that and dual cup holders then as well. Did want to also mention for the Overland trim level and up, you're going to get second row side window sunshades coming standard. Also four zone climate control as well. That is pretty cool. And then if you were to go with the limited trim level and up for that second row, you will get heated second row seats then too. So always nice to spoil the rear passengers a little bit there. Then make our way up to the front seats. Cloth seating is going to come with the Laredo leather seating with the altitude trim level and up. Eight-way power driver's seat with their Laredo trim level and up. Heated front seats for all trim levels across the board. You definitely do not always get that on other three-row SUVs out there. So definitely a big fan of that. Ventilated front seats coming with the Overland trim level and up. Memory settings for the limited trim level and up. And then also that Overland is going to add a 12-way power driver's seat and driver and passenger massaging seats 
as well so i did would imagine that but overall seating was definitely plenty comfortable definitely could see myself taking a long road trip perhaps to ocean city maryland in the grand cherokee l but now let's go ahead and take a look at the steering wheel it is tilt and telescoping of course it is leather wrapped for every trim level across the board love that and actually heated for every single trim level across the board as well. So we do quite often get snow here in Pennsylvania. So the fact that every trim is going to get a heated steering wheel is definitely pretty nice. Then make our way to the startup. Let me first start by showing you guys the key here. You do have your Jeep logo on the one side and when you flip it over, lock, unlock the button to pop the rear hatch and the little circular button with the times two in it. That is going to be a remote start, which does come standard across the board along with a push button start also standard across the board. So having said that, I'm just going to put my foot on the brake here and press that engine start button. And so, but then once started up, when it comes to those gauges, it is a 10 and a quarter inch digital gauge cluster for every single trim level across the board. You guys know I love digital gauge clusters because they are more customizable. They really bring the gauges to life. You can choose to display whatever you want to choose to display up there, which is why I absolutely love digital gauges. And the Jeep Grand Cherokee L definitely did a very good job. The one thing I think they maybe could have added to this is maybe some different color options. But other than that, I absolutely love these digital gauges that Jeep put in this thing. So big fan of that. But then making our way to overall interior quality, a power sunroof coming with the Laredo and Altitude. Limited trim level and up then is going to add a dual pane panoramic sunroof. So definitely a longer sunroof there. It extends into the rear seats. LED interior lighting coming with all trim levels across the board. Three zone climate control coming standard across the board as well. Universal garage door opener for the limited trim level and up. Wireless phone charger for the Overland trim level and up along with multicolor ambient lighting which I am definitely a big fan of, of course. And overall, with the contrast stitching found on the doors, the wood-like accents found on the doors, the aluminum trim found just above the passenger side glove box, along with some more contrast stitching just above that. It's actually some very, very nice interior quality in the Grand Cherokee L, without a doubt. They did a very good job, especially that wood trim on the doors. I was a big fan of that. But anyways, just in front of the shifter, you will have more charging ports, a 12-volt power outlet, dual USB charging ports, two phone charging ports as well any wireless phone charger again for the overland trim level and up just behind all of that you do have dual cup holders as well and within the center armrest a decent amount of storage within that and of course you actually have an overhead sunglass holder i almost forgot to mention that as well so overall interior quality was definitely very very well done here in our overland trim level at least of the grand cherokee l without a doubt but now let's go ahead and make our way to the tech display 8.4 inch color touchscreen display coming with the laredo and altitude then if you were to go with the limited trim level and up that is bumped up to a 10.1 inch color touchscreen display either way you get bluetooth and audio streaming also android auto and apple carplay so you have a smartphone simply just hook it up to the grand cherokee and therefore you have free navigation displayed up on either screen on that tech display there. Factory navigation system is only going to come on the 10.1 inch display screen, although you don't really need it as long as you have a smartphone, of course. You can check out your ambient lighting settings up there, climate control settings, and of course your radio information as well. And so this is one of the best parts, you guys. Six speakers coming with the Laredo, Altitude, and Limited. Nine speakers with the subwoofer is going to be optional for those. But then there is a 19 speaker, I believe it's called Macintosh. I'm probably mispronouncing that, but a 19 speaker high performance sound system for the Overland trim level and up that comes with 950 watts. And that is the one we have today. So having said that, I do believe you guys know what we have to do next. <laughs> That was ridiculous. You could feel the bass in your chest. That was an amazing sound system. Crystal clear, ton of bass, like I said. It was a brilliant sound system for the Grand Cherokee L without a doubt. And so the last thing I wanted to mention to you guys on that infotainment screen is when you do put this one in reverse, you of course will find a rear view camera coming standard across the board, letting you know what is completely all around you, which is always is going to lead us into safety. And so to start, front side, side curtain airbags do come standard, also driver and passenger knee airbags as well. In the back, you're gonna have latch, AKA lower anchors and tethers for children for the rear car seats, rear child door locks, tire pressure monitoring system, but also coming standard for all trim levels will include lane keep assist, the blind spot monitoring system with rear cross traffic alert, forward collision warning, rear parking sensors, and then the overland trim level and up is going to add to that front and rear parking sensors, highway drive assist, highway assist, 
Assist System, Integrated Off-Road Camera, Intersection Collision Assist System, and Night Vision with Pedestrian and Animal Detection. But overall, when it comes to my final thoughts here, this is a three-row Grand Cherokee, finally. I'm so happy they brought this to the market, and I have no doubt they are going to sell a ton of these things, especially here in the US where SUVs are all the craze. But air suspension also that's a big win for the grand cherokee l because the competition if you were looking at maybe the honda pilot toyota highlander hyundai palisade kia telluride none of those get an air suspension but this one does so that's really one of the big selling points of the grand cherokee l in my opinion ambient lighting is great in this one great interior quality overall as far as room for improvement goes i kind of wish the digital gauges like i said were a little more colorful but you know me with my bright green cars and bright yellow cars just makes things more interesting in the end i guess also, can get a little bit pricey when you compare this to the competition. I believe this Overland that I drove here was approximately $61,000. So I believe the other competition top out at right around 50, give or take. So it's a little bit more than the other ones. But so anyways, that is about it for this one, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Feel free to follow me on TikTok at the bottom of the screen. If you want to see short clips of these videos before it actually gets to YouTube, be sure to hit the subscribe and the bell notification button. If you're into new car reviews, that is what we do here on this channel after all. Do appreciate you guys watching more than you know when I will see you guys all in the next video. Stay gold.